Hey YouTubers, PFC Brewing here again. Doug and Lazy Brew Dog Maggie. Uh, tonight I did a little uh, kegging. Um, about three weeks, I should have some beers ready. So while I'm doing my kegging here, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tasting. I got my uh, oatmeal stout on tap um, right now, so that's what I'm drinking. However, I got two tall glasses here. Uh, one's my brown down ale, a brown ale. Next one is the uh, smoked porter, or what I want to call a rash beer, that one I smoke the, the grains with. Um, let me show you. The different brews. Okay, as you can see, got the two kegs back there. Um, got three different beers here. This guy right here, my glass is dirty on the outside. Uh, it's my oatmeal stout I'm currently drinking. This guy, it's my smoked porter. Did a gravity reading on it, 1.006. I got it finished with a really low gravity. I got my brown ale here. I got it finished at 1.012. So just to tell you what I did is put two cup, two thirds cups of wheat DME and three cups of water for each keg. Boiled it up, primed it. I'm gonna prime it naturally. Let it sit for three weeks. And then, hopefully, I can get these guys ready to go by the time I go fishing again here in about four weeks. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's taste these bad boys now. Get a good look at all three of them. As you can notice, this guy here, you can almost see through it. That guy, not so much. That guy, yes. Okay. First beer we're going to try here is going to be my oatmeal stout. Been drinking off this guy for a while. Um, I'm going to basically compare it to the last oatmeal stout I had. Um, this guy does have good head. Giggity. <laughs> but multi flavors aromas take a swig oops so kind of getting that stout esque flavor i guess definitely taste that roasted barley in there um a little bit more prevalent than last time this guy's had a little bit more time to age, which is good. A um, little bit more time to age with the CO2 on it, too. I carved this guy, uh, force carved this guy before I left on my vacation several weeks ago. So, it's had a little bit of, plenty of time to age in the fridge, which is good. Um, definitely going to stick with this recipe. Let's move on next to my... Two flat beers. This is that brown ale. Finished at one point or one point zero one two. Really, no real smell. Of course, it's not carbonated, so you're not gonna get any um, smell coming out of it. Let's just give it a taste. Definitely a little sweeter than that stout, which it should be. Um, you don't have that dark aftertaste, uh, that stout ass aftertaste. It's got kind of a smooth, kind of smooth. Um, not really too bitter. 
yet not really malty. Um, it's going to really be nice to test this guy out once he's carved. I bet you this is going to be a good beer. I'm going to have to save this guy for last when I go open those kegs on a fishing trip. Um, I'm thinking that one's going to be a good one. <clears throat> I mean, alternate this camera here so I can do a little bit of rotating between these two guys. Look at that smoked porter. Look at that bottom of that glass. You can see through it. This guy finished out at 1.06. No really smoke-esque smells. No smoked taste. Um, I did put roasted barley in that guy. If I had to say, it was probably a mix between the brown and the stout. Probably because of the different malts I had in it. Yeah, you're not going to get any smoke flavor out of that guy. Um, kind of a mix between the uh, between the stout and that brown. Um, really impressed with that brown. But hey, a few weeks may taste a lot different. Uh, smoked one, it's drinkable. Just doesn't have the flavors that I that I like in it, but hey, we're experimenting, so we'll see if we can get that guy fine tuned. We'll see how it goes. Do you have to say my brown ale? That's the first time I did that all grain. That tastes, I think, a lot better than my extract. But hey, it might just be me because I put all the work into it. So, anyways, I'm gonna take my favorite out of the two. The brown. Cheers.